I want to ask you a question because this is something that I thought of whilst prepping for the show and I want to ask the audience this as well. How far back in time could you go and still survive? Like I'm talking you as a person. Think about everything we have now. Think about in historically how much or what we had, what technology, what tools we had. The way you are now, how far back do you think you could go and still survive? It's a really good question. I think if you start losing the fridge, I'd be I'd be worried. I think I could go back without TV. I could go back without computers. But a house and a fridge are probably a couple of important points and somewhere to buy, uh, be able to acquire food that is not necessarily cultivated by myself. I think those things would be important. But, yeah, a fridge I think is a something that would be interesting to try and live with that. I mean, you know, you go camping and try and do it, but you, you take a box with ice kind of thing. So, um, and the ice in itself is created by, from a fridge. So it's not something we, we could get. So I would have to say that would somewhere in that point in time would be where I think would be my, my draw line. Mm. How about yourself? I think I'd be similar. I mean, for example, like you said, ice, how do you even make ice if you don't have a fridge? I think there are ways, I mean, (laughs) the show Jericho, I don't know if you've ever seen this, where there's like a couple of nuclear bombs went off and so they're living without power and someone gets sick and they're trying to figure out how do you create ice without electricity and they do it somehow, I can't remember. I assume that that would work in reality but I can't remember exactly how they did it. But yeah, how do you, without a fridge, how do you create ice? How do you preserve food? So this is another thing, it's like, okay, we think it's tough now. Imagine going through winter where you can only, if you, if you aren't, first of all, growing crops yourself, I think you're in big trouble. But yeah, even if you are, how do you preserve that over time? And that's where it comes back to, okay, salt was important. So uh, this was another thing I used to hear growing up, you know, if you have location, if you have access to salt, you're in a good position. I'm like, why? <laughs> like, I don't need seasoning, I need food, <laughs> I don't need salt. But that's a big way that we preserve things. So, yeah, I think I'm similar to you that once you get rid of the fridge, I don't know. I don't know how long I could survive. But I think it's a good question to ask ourselves because it, I think the further back, this is probably a good way to, to me, the further back in time you could go and survive, the more um, at peace you are now, the more comfortable now, the more secure you feel. Like if I could say, okay, take away everything and I could just, if you dump me in the forest right now, I could survive, then it doesn't matter what happens to me because I know if everything is taken away, that's fine, I can survive. Yeah, I mean that's a that's probably a good indicator to see how independent on the planet you actually are and how reliant on technology you are as well.